Hi everyone. Today, I'll be walking you through the bulk email finder, showing you how to find email addresses from a list of professional contacts. After this tutorial, you'll know exactly what information is required in what format and how to get the list of professional email addresses as a result. We'll start with an example spreadsheet. This has all the required information to process a bulk email finder. Here, you can see a column with the first name of the contact, the last name, the domain of the company where they work, and the company name. If you don't have the first and last names split up in two columns already, you can also have just a single column with a full name, like this. Make sure to remove any middle names and that your first and last names are complete. Also, remove any initials as these won't be processed. For the company information, you can have either the company domain or the company name. Just one of the two is required to process the file. We strongly recommend, however, entering the domain name whenever possible, as these will generate more results with better accuracy. If you don't have the domain name, then Hunter will automatically try to convert the company name to a domain name for you. In that case, it's best to keep the company name in its simplest form. For instance, Google is better than Google Inc. The domain name, on the other hand, does not have to be cleaned up. It can also be a website link like the example here. Hunter will automatically know which part is the domain. The order of the columns also doesn't matter, so you don't have to place them in the same order that I have here, and you can also keep any other columns already in your file. Moving on to Hunter, click on the Bulks menu and choose the Bulk Email Finder option. Click on New Bulk. First, you'll want to enter a name for your bulk. Hunter will use this name for your downloaded results file and to identify this bulk for later use. Now, upload your list of contacts. You'll need a CSV file for this, which can easily be done in a spreadsheet software, usually from the file menu. For this example, I'll go to the file menu of Google Sheets. Then download and choose the comma separated values option. The file is now saved on my computer, so I can add it directly to Hunter by drag and drop or by selecting the file from my computer. Before starting the validation process, you can configure two options. The first one, if checked, Will include all the public web pages where the email was found in additional columns at the end of your results file. The second option indicates whether Hunter should skip over lines in your file that may already contain an email address. For instance, some of your contacts could already have an associated email address and you wouldn't want to be charged for finding the email again. In other cases, your file could have some web mails, which are emails such as Gmail or Yahoo, or maybe some are outdated emails, so you would still want to find an email address for each line. If that's the case, simply uncheck this option. Next, click Upload. You will now need to match each column in your file with the required fields. Here at the bottom, Hunter automatically detects if your file has a header line, but you can check or uncheck as necessary. In some cases, Hunter will automatically detect the required columns. If not, you'll have to manually match them using the drop down menus. If Hunter matched a column incorrectly, simply select the blank option to unmatch it. Make sure to match all the required fields, otherwise Hunter won't let you move on to the next step. Now, click Validate. 
Hunter will now process your file, which can take from a couple of seconds up to a couple of hours, depending on the number of lines in your file. Feel free to close the tab and come back later since Hunter will continue to process your file even while you're away. Once Hunter has finished finding emails, you'll have an overview of the results. You'll see how many were found and the proportion of emails by verification status. The emails can be valid, which means they are safe to use. They can also be accept all. This is when the domain of the company has an accept all policy. When Hunter sends a verification check for any email on that domain, it always responds that the email is valid. So we can't be sure of the status and it is possible that the email will bounce. Lastly, some emails will have an unknown verification status. This means that the email was not validated. In these cases, you can run them through the bulk email verifier to get a full verification report before sending them. You'll also have the number of emails not found. In some cases, Hunter doesn't have enough public information available about a contact, or if the most likely email turned out to be invalid, Hunter may not return a result. To download the results, click on download. You can either download the valid emails only or the full results. As you can see, the number of requests this bulk will cost you is equal to the number of emails you download. The results file is in a CSV format, which you can easily open with most spreadsheet software. I'll import mine into Google Sheets from the file menu. The file contains all your original columns and adds the results at the very end. The first column is where you'll find the emails. Then there's the confidence score, which is Hunter's estimate of the likelihood that the email is deliverable. The score is calculated from the public sources we have for it, from the verification checks, as well as any other relevant public information. You can use it to filter the best emails that have an accept all verification status, since these can't be verified for sure. Next, you have the verification status, which as we said, could be valid, accept all, or unknown. And finally, if you've selected to include the sources in the results, you will have a couple of additional columns with the public web pages where the emails have been found. Before ending this tutorial, I want to show you one last option you have. If you use the leads section in Hunter, for instance, to send cold email campaigns or to sync an external CRM, you can add your emails directly from the website without having to download the list. Simply click on import from the results page. You can either import the emails to a new list or add them into a list you already have. So, We've now gone through the entire process of the bulk email finder. If you need more information, be sure to check out our help center or reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching.